you called for, quote, thorough, expert-driven, and objective inquiry into the origins of COVID-19. So let me ask, is there a reasonable chance that COVID-19 leaked from a lab? I can't exclude that. I think it's fairly unlikely. I wish we had more ability to be able to ask questions of the Chinese government and learn more about what kind of records might have been in the lab that we've never been able to see. But most likely, this was a natural origin of a virus, probably starting in a bat, perhaps traveling through some other intermediate yet to be identified host and finding its way into humans. Is answering this question within the realm of science, do you think, will we ever know? I think we might know if we find that intermediate host. Um, and there has not yet been a thorough enough investigation to say that that's not going to happen. And remember, it takes a while to do this. Uh, with SARS, it was 14 years before we figured out it was the civet cat that was the intermediate host. With MERS, it was a little quicker to discover it was the camel. With SARS-CoV-2, there's been some looking, but especially now with everything really tense between the U.S. and China, if there's looking going on, we're not getting told about it. Do you think it's a scientific question or a political question? It's a scientific question, but it has political implications. So the world is full of scientists that are working together, but in the political space, in the political science space, there's tensions what is it like to do great science in a time of uh, a pandemic when there's political tensions? It's very unfortunate. Pasteur said science knows no one country. He was right about that. My whole career in genetics especially has depended upon international collaboration between scientists as a way to make discoveries, get things done. Scientists by their nature uh, like to be involved in international collaborations. The Human Genome Project, for heaven's sake, 2,400 scientists in six countries working together, not worrying who is going to get the credit, giving all the data away. I was the person who was supposed to keep all that coordinated. And it was a wonderful experience. And that included China. That was sort of their first real entry into a big international, big science kind of project. And they did their part. It's very different now. <laughs> 